I read a few poems from my book, Sandpaper and Seahorses, published by Two Rivers Press. Every grain of rice in the old cook on the eve of the climate change conference. These days I'll retrieve a single grain to add to the risotto pan, as a Japanese brand grandmother advised remembering post-war days. If we chewed each mouthful 32 times, she growled, we'd all live longer lives. My deft fingers find this no trouble at all. There are 17 drops in the empty bottle. This one's um, called Born, and it began in the Yorkshire Sculpture Park about some early memories. Born. On the shore of a northern lake, reclining woman by Henry Moore, huge thighed, hold, verdigreed. Teasel scratched my arms and legs, cool air rushing past, I pitched forward on my face. Sycamore seeds helicoptered round the boy on the windy common, where so many things were forbidden. Anthill seat of swarming reds, itching powder, goose grass and worse, the post box too far down the lane. And inching out over the canal, waterfall of his dream, Niagara pulled him to its dread glass lip. A gas main drew blue in the night, blasted a house they knew to bits, lit up his room like a nuclear test. This sweet stalk to chew, dung to poke, I'm raised from the bright sward, carried up the hill in her arms. The search goes ever on, working back to where we come from. And another poem about birth, uh, the title poem, Seahorse. One dripping in my palm, soft boned hippocampus, curl tailed, bug eyed charmer. We rescued her with cupped hands from outside the bay in the zodiac, saw fighting seabirds drop their prize, brought her back to graves. A million dry in boiling sun for seaside souvenirs, millions more crushed to powder the traditional medicine trades where there are catch all cure. Are there more? There are, remote, in hiding. They dance in the seagrass at dawn. She lays in his pouch, this rarest thing of the male carrying fertile over to birth, and probably their downfall. Uh, and to finish, uh, another species we are um, doing our best to wipe out. This is also to a dear friend who lives out uh, near these sharks, called the Love. She likes her toast hot to soak up the butter, peanut butter, Nutella, and dies on the scales, starves herself, stuffs again in dazzling alternation. Then she's all over me, larger and louder than ever, wanting to swim naked from Mavita tomorrow, a meal for the sharks to draw attention to their plight, their decimation, a soup, not for her own glory. <laughs>